begin tonight. There is no FDA approved booster shot at this time, yet some in the medical community say they have heard of people getting an extra shot. Now pharmacies and doctors are putting protocols in place to stop it. KPRC 2's Courtney Zubowski live now with that story tonight. And Courtney, what are the risks of doing this? Chris and Dominique, doctors just don't know yet, and that's the concern. Right now, we're at a vaccination site near NRG, and the push right now is to get unvaccinated people vaccinated. But what we're hearing about now is vaccinated people getting vaccinated again. You could call it a self-prescribed shot at more immunity, but it could be risky. I will say I have heard anecdotes of it. Dr. Prathik Kokarni is an assistant professor of medicine and infectious disease at Baylor College of Medicine. Based on the data we currently have, the vaccines are still holding up uh, very well. But as the Delta variant spreads, some are nervous, hoping for more immunity with a third or booster shot and getting it deceptively. A booster is typically another dose of the same vaccine you had before. The CDC and FDA have not okayed them. So it's hard to know exactly how any one individual uh, might react. So that's why I would suggest at the current time sticking with the recommended approach. According to the Associated Press, the CDC started tracking unauthorized booster shots. 900 so far, but the count may not be accurate. There could be more. Harris County Public Health says it has a statewide database to track first and second doses, but a spokesperson said they are working to strengthen the documentation process. Here's what Walgreens said. We have alerts in place throughout Walgreens systems, in addition to alerts from health plans if a patient has previously received a COVID-19 full series vaccination. And CVS told us this, patients who have been fully vaccinated at a CVS pharmacy or who inform us that they were fully vaccinated by another provider will not receive another vaccine. I'm watching it very closely myself. And if that guidance uh, changes, then certainly I'll adjust uh, the messaging as, as necessary. And of course, a lot of this depends on honesty right now. Dr. Kokarni says it could be just a few more weeks before these boosters are approved. He believes that those 60 and up and those immunocompromised will be first for booster shots. We're live near NRG. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News.